Hey everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil 4 Professional Mode. So we're going to be trying something new here because um, I was looking back at some of the videos and I noticed that the game audio was a little loud. Or actually very loud. Some of those gunshots sounded like thunder. So um, I think what happened was um, there's a stark difference between the recent videos and some of the past videos. I think what happened was uh, Elgato had, had an update for the software. And I remember it did, up, it did update the software. But I think it actually messed around with my volume settings a little bit. Or the audio settings. Because um, I don't think they were quite correct. And I didn't really notice it. Until I went back to uh, um, examine some of the videos for YouTube thumbnails. And I realized some of those gunshots and explosions and stuff sound loud as shit. Like I didn't realize the update had completely messed up the audio settings that badly. So um, what I did was... um. Since my voice was also a little low, I turned down the game audio just a bit, and I turned up the the sound setting for my voice up a bit. I only went um, just a tiny bit in either direction. We're gonna try for this one video. Um, if it doesn't work quite as I expected to, um, I will go back to the old settings and we'll keep adjusting it. Probably keep tinkering with it until we get it right. But yeah, I think it was the the update that knocked out the audio settings for Elgato so thankfully it didn't uh, ruin it too badly but it yeah I, I was looking back at some of the old videos and noticed that's that's not quite right so what were we doing last time um okay so here's the way shrine key oh yeah we have to go into the caves that's where we have to go is the boat over here <coughs> Or is it outside? Let's see. Okay, here it is. We have to go back into the caves. Look at that, it's still messing up. I, I actually turned the game audio down to 86. I wanted to do it just a tiny bit. It went down on its own to 85, so. I guess 85 it is then. I guess we'll leave it. We'll leave it at 85 because that's, that's obviously what the software wants. Yeah, I noticed a huge difference, especially in some of the Robocop videos too. The audio sounded really clear from my voice, and the the game audio wasn't quite as loud as the recent ones. So something happened with that update. Okay, so we already got that treasure on um, the church key. Didn't we get that already? Yeah, I thought we got that already, the church key. Oh, okay, so here's where we have to bring the, the head statues. So we're missing one. We're missing one um, golem or gruel, whatever that is, gremlin. Whatever that thing is, we're missing one of them. Gotta go back for the others, so... Let's head to what is probably one of my least favorite sections in the entire game. Searching the cave for that, um... For that other head statue. Yeah, those corridors are just full with tons of enemies and... There's no real room to maneuver around. You kinda just have to fight your way through them. It's, um... Where the hell is it? Oh, we gotta go over here, so we gotta go backwards. Okay. If we can keep Leon from breaking the boat. So where do we... We go over here, I guess. Gotta go to the left. So today, or rather yesterday, was the last day of the Masters. Um, oh, good. I didn't win quite as much as I'd hoped for, but I still won a decent amount. Um, Scotty Scheffler won. 
big surprise there. That kind of that kind of put the brakes on any further profit. You know, I I tried as much to keep up with him and match him with all the free promotions and stuff they were doing, but it's just his price was just way too low. And unfortunately, I made a mistake of um had a pretty good parlay on him back when they were doing that whole college basketball championship thing, and I should have put twice or three times his money, and I did not. So it's still the most I've ever won from golf, though, like almost almost two thousand dollars. So that's pretty that's a pretty fair amount. But I wanted more, damn it! I wanted more. I would have gotten more if um they hadn't screwed up all at once, because at one point they had him they had him on the ropes. Damn. Just like I thought, thought we had this guy on the ropes. Sit down. Sit your ass down, fool. Yeah, they had him on the ropes around the halfway point, and then all of them just had the misfortune of making a double... Yeah, double bogey all at once on the same hole, and it just... That just fucked the whole thing. It was over. Because from then on, he just went. He just got birdie after birdie after birdie, and they could... There was no stopping him. Damn, he blew up his own homie. Damn, he's killing them for us. We don't even have to do any work. Come on, throw another one. Oh, he's got a headworm too. Yeah, they had him on the ropes and they just let him go. The closest guy who got to him was Oberg. The guy's a monster, but unfortunately he's still inexperienced, so... He got to that hole, which was super critical, and he was only like one shot behind, I think. And unfortunately, that was where experience comes in, because Scotty knew he had to go safe on that hole. He knew if he tried for a birdie, he could fuck things up and take himself out of the tournament. But unfortunately, Oberg did not... Um, know that that with that being his first year there and um it's funny like i i don't know if i mentioned it on previous videos or not but salatoris had a chance to beat chef for two years ago and, and he just went too conservative he didn't take enough risk and oberg was just the opposite like i i was hoping he'd be bold but god damn he he went for a bold risk at the worst possible time like he should have just um gotten our he should have just gotten a freaking par Gotten down, gotten out of there safely, and he probably could have beat him, or at least taken him to a playoff. But yeah, Zalatoris was too conservative back when he played in 2022. Oberg was uh, too, too brave and bold. Yeah, he just said, "Fuck it, I'm going for it," and he went for it. And oh boy, did he pay for it! He never recovered from the double bogey. God damn! Shit! This is one thing I have I hate about the game, the stun locks. God damn! Get off me, you fool! Damn dirty ape! Yeah, well, Berg screwed the push. He just went way too brave where he didn't really need to. He would've been fine just making a power and nope. He went for it, he just said, fuck it, I'm going for it, it's the Masters, and yep, it did, not work out as he, it did not work out as he expected, or as I expected, but it was still a pretty good tournament. People say golf is boring, um, yeah, it can get a bit boring when one guy runs away with it, as Scotty did near the end, but it was still gripping to watch when they, when they had him all tied up, and you can tell, you can tell he was starting to feel the fear that they were going to surpass him. Cause they had three really good guys, not not the best, but they had three really good, decent contenders for a championship. You could tell it was starting to get to him a little. He was making sloppy mistakes, just just a couple, but enough to give some leeway. It is gripping stuff, you know. It, don't let you fool you. It it is gripping stuff. Get off my uh, bridge, fool! Said, get off my bridge. They never learn. Just keep making the same mistake. It's a shooting gallery. 
Nope, this guy's still not finished. He still wants more. Are you done yet? Oh. You're serious. Well, he's done now. He is definitely done now, that's for sure. Fucking asshole. Get a whiff of Leon's victory poles there. So yeah, it was pretty fun. Um, the next major is like a month and a half away, but um, yeah, it's pretty fun. It's one of those events that um, I didn't know how cool it was until I started watching golf, because I always thought golf was long and boring. And it can be long and boring, but it can also be pretty gripping at times. And <coughs> Look at this genius. Look at him. Damn. Freaking Einstein there. Oh, let me light up a stick of dynamite while this guy with a gun is right in front of me. So he can shoot it out of my hand. Freaking idiot. I think Scheffler learned something too. Because like I said, Scheffler is probably one of the worst. Like he does really make it slow and boring sometimes. Like can't lay. But no, he was showing actual emotion during this one. He was giving a little fist pump here and there. He was um celebrating when he made a shot like it seems like he actually realized you know what i'm at the masters i actually got to put on a performance you know i i gotta wow the audience i gotta throw the crowd so it seems like he learned actually something too and at the at the press conference after he was very emotional so yeah good for him he actually learned um how to project a little personality and not just be you know like a boring robot on the on the course like cantley he never learns he always makes the same boring performance time and time again Bryson also did pretty good too. Like, people thought he was going to win at one point. I thought he had a chance to come back and win, but it did not work out as expected. But he will definitely be a threat at the next major in PGA in like a month and a half. He is definitely a very real threat for that one. And for the US Open, which he owns. So he dominates the US Open. So definitely going to watch out for him. But yeah, all in all, like I think golf is one of those sports that you know, get some a bad rap because so much of it is old, is older and white. You know, and they've got a bunch of old white men running the running the sport. But there are some legitimately very exciting young contenders here and there in the in the field, especially with Oberg and these guys coming over from Europe and South America and and South Korea. There's a ton of them. They, there are legitimately thrilling golfers in there. So, like I said, if you're skeptical of it, I recommend you give it a watch sometime. To, you might be surprised at how entertainment and enjoyable it is, even when your bets have lost. Like, obviously, having money on it makes it better, because you actually have an active, you're actively rooting for something. You know, not not just for that guy to win, but also for you to win. But even on its own, like like I said, we knew, but oh, I thought that was an enemy. Shit, I thought that was an enemy in there. We pretty much knew, but like two thirds into it, that Scotty had won. But even so, it was still exciting to see. The other guys try to chase him anyway and make some spectacular shots. Especially Oberg. He really tried to chase him down after he made the double bogey. So yeah, it's, it gets unfairly maligned sometimes because of the leadership. But you can't ignore the actual talent. The young talent behind it. Because it is uh, pretty spectacular to watch sometimes. That's all I'll say. So yeah, all in all, not a bad Sunday. Um, made almost 2000 bucks. Watched a decent sporting event. And now I'm playing Resident Evil 4. So all in all, pretty good. Pretty good end to the weekend, if I sh if I should say so myself. That is a butterfly. Okay, so it's a butterfly. What else do we have? Um. Um. This whatever it is, it's a Q. Got a butterfly. Got a Q. Are there any others? Oh. Butterfly, a Q, and a cheeseburger with, without the meat. That That's it. Butterfly, Q, and cheeseburger without the meat. Okay, so we got the butter. I believe it was this one, right? Hello? Butterfly. Q. Burger without the meat. I think one of those might be wrong. Probably the upper left one. No, no, we're right. Excellent. There we go. Apostate's head. With his leaky grape juice there. Leaking. 
Maybe that's wine. Maybe they just they were using it as wine storage. It's not blood. It's wine. Or maybe it's blood wine, like the uh, vampires in Forever Night drink. They drink blood wine at their bar. Because you know, blood's too simple for them, and wine's not. It's too ordinary. They gotta combine them. Shit. They gotta combine them both. Make it exciting. So they drink blood wine. Oh, look at his, look at his buffoon. Burn, motherfucker. Damn, he's still burning. Shit. Well, you, you asked for it, you motherfucker. How long do you think he's gonna burn? Damn. He did not think that out well. That was not a well laid out plan by him. Okay, we're missing. We got a yellow orb. We can sell that. I think it's downstairs. Yeah, we can sling that for the merchant for some coin. I saw this pretty interesting meme for a, for a cat. It was pretty funny. Um, I think I saw it on Quora, um, where they set up a. The cat was obsessed with the blanket, so they made him a little nice blanket for it, and, and then they placed they placed like a whole bunch of electronics there, and they, the photo was captioned like, "He has wares if you have coin." That's all the stuff the cat's hoard. The cat hoards in his blanket for it. phones, like a bone he got from somewhere. You know, electric um, electric devices. You know, if if you got the coin, he's got the goods for you. It's like the merchant from here. Okay, so we got the extra head. Let's see him. I want to make sure I don't miss out on a treasure. This concerns me right here. I don't know what this is. I do not know what that what that is. So I'm hoping um. I'm hoping it's something we can still get. Because this concerns me right here. That one that's empty. Was that the one we never found? Or wh what exactly was that? Is it something with Ashley? Because Let's take a look. Okay, so we have the... This is the fish farm, right? That's the fish farm. You can see it has all the, the huts and bridges and stuff. So that's the fish farm. Okay. Lakeside settlement shrine. Yeah, it's over here. So you know we're gonna we're gonna go pay a visit before we go back to the merchant. We're gonna pay a visit because I think once you put that head in and get the key, they blow up the bridge. So we might not be able to get whatever's over there. So what we're gonna do instead, we're gonna try to cheese it a bit. God damn, I'm getting tired of oh, never getting the full treasures for that thing. It sucks. So let's just get it here. I think we can still get it probably. It's not far away. Let's see. Yeah, it should be close by. Because the door is over here. I don't think so, the bridge. Maybe it's like a jewel or something we didn't shoot down. So we're going to have to climb the ladder, go over here. Yeah, here it is, right here. Oh, that's a way shrine key. Never mind. Never mind. We actually do need that. Um, we can get it. I thought it was something... Um, you know, let's just get it just in case. I know we gotta pass by... We still have to pass by him earlier, so... It doesn't matter which direction we come from. As long as we get, as long as we get what we need to, we're good. Oh, yeah, so that's the way shrine key. So we did get the other one. Oh yeah, because it was in the quarry. Just making sure, because that that's what happened the last time. We left one of those behind and it came back to haunt us. I thought I'd gotten the treasure and no! The chap the chapter um, after Mendez ends and it turns out I did not get all the treasures for the... For the, um, for the village area. So, want to make sure do not repeat I that. I have some new welcome. I've got something new for you, mate. Can we sell the key already or not? Ruby's all rubbish. She makes no so the, so the gold bar, the, the velvet blue, That's and the yellow herb. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'll be back later. Anytime.
Homeboy. So I actually found out that you can buy the shotgun, the, those DLC, the Skull Shaker, for like 99 cents. It's on sale on the PSN. I was thinking of getting it, but not for this playthrough. We don't want to use a, a shotgun that's starting from scratch on this. We want to, you know, we want to um, save it for like an easier playthrough. So we're not going to do it here, but I might buy it later on. I have some spare money left from the PSN store. Also, we got those uh, costumes for Leon, the casual one with the jacket. The blue puffer jacket. I might buy that one. It's two ninety nine, but it does look kind of decent. I saw someone using it, play, using it on a playthrough. It was actually pretty damn, looked pretty damn good on Leon. And of course, the best part is he's got these tight jeans that completely just show off his ass. Unlike these pants, they just very very tight. The type of jeans that you squeeze yourself into and you can barely move. That's um, that's those are jeans he has on that outfit. So okay, we got everything. Oh no, we still gotta go place the head. Yeah, we gotta go place the head. Oh yeah, so we can sell him the key. Because it's got a check mark on it. That means it's useless. So never mind, let's go sell him that head again. I mean, let's go sell him the key. We'll place the head on that statue. Oh, there you go. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale. Pleasure. Do we? Don't get yourself killed. We don't need any right now, my guy. You can. We're fine. Let's go get that key. Unfortunately, the rest of the day was a betting disaster. Um, I'd gotten a horse the other day that paid forty dollars on Saturday, so I thought, oh. We got some free credit left over. Let's give it a try and see if we can get something else. And no, um, all the horses are rotten this week. Like, God damn. I mean, today they were all rotten. Or yesterday, rather. It's just, just could not get a fucking winner. I got like, I went like four tries and the horses were not cooperating. All the horses they, the, the handicappers gave were shit. All of them. A good bunch of dumbass, worthless horses that. Couldn't, couldn't win a fucking race even if they got a head start of like a minute it was just or maybe 30 seconds they did win in a minute but 30 seconds yeah it was just all the choices were bad all the horses they gave were bad and I missed out on another 40 to 1 horse which had I used my own judgment and taken a closer look at at the menu at the betting menu I probably would have selected that horse and gotten quite a bit of money off it but no I went with the, sele the handicapper selections every time and they all sucked like this that's how you know it's a completely random sport. Like there are times when they have when the handicappers make sense, and then there there's other times when you think these people don't know shit about horse racing. They're just making things up. Cause my God, was those some bad bad choices? They they did not have a single winner between them all day. What is it, Hunnigan? Condor one to roost. I found the key to the church. Copy that. Now go get Baby Eagle. Right. No time to chat. I'm going in. Condor one out. Alright, you heard her. We gotta go get Beagle. <laughs> gotta get Beagle from there. From the church. That might make a nice screenshot. Let's see what happens with Ashley. Remember when these look like clay in the PS4 version? I haven't gone back to play that version since. I probably should eventually just to complete all the trophies. Because you, you can't import trophies from... PS5 to PS4. You can only do it from PS4 to PS5. So, all these trophies that we got on the PS5 are all incomplete. Separate ways. Um, this. The ones I've gotten with Leon, they're all incomplete. We can't do shit with them. Okay, so we got everything. Now we gotta go over to the church. That means we're gonna fight El Gigante. So, we wanna make sure our our um, sniper rifle is up to par. We got 12 shots. That should be enough. I don't think we need to waste um. Oh, we do have to. We do have to uh, sharpen up the knife though, because that that would suck if it breaks halfway, and we gotta use those crappy ass kitchen knives. No, we gotta sharpen the blade. I've got some new. Up Welcome. I've got All right, do a tune up. New for you, Mold crossing your T's, dotting your I's. That's the there we go. We are firmly tuned up now. 
What else do you have? First aid spray. Nothing interesting to trade so far. Um, we're gonna. Oh, we already bought the castle one. Buy. Yeah, we bought the castle map. So, yeah, there's nothing else we can do right now. So, I still have some new items. Might want to take care of any leftover errands before. There you go. That's spray. that's your warning to um, get all the treasures you can from this area because there's no going back. Once once you go back is um, once you go back to Ashley, it's over. You gotta just pr proceed solely with the mission. So that's your warning to get anything that you haven't gotten from this area. Thankfully, as you can see, we have all the treasures. Um, got everything from the valley. The only ones we need to get are the village chief's manor, which means we're going to have to fight that giant dog. Even though we don't want to, we have to go fight him. We got the church. Locked drawers over there. Um, oh, there's a locked drawer here. Do we have a key? Shit, we don't have a spare key. Life, wondering what if Emma do we get a spare key let's see where else can we find a spare key lock drawer church gate where can we find a spare key got the way shrine key you think Google will know you think Google will know if uh, where we can find a spare key Let's see. RE4 remake spare keys. Or are they old keys? I forgot what they're called. Are they old keys or spare keys? Does he have any for sale? He does not, so I guess you know fuck it, let's just trade for the gunpowder. Heal a man, kill a man. Ain't an interesting choice. Oh, I mean it in a good way, of course. He does not have um keys for sale, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wing it. That's kind of odd. Like, do they expect you to basically just hold on to one key from your previous playthrough, and then that's the combat. way you Anytime. you do that? Because we all, we're we always end up short on keys. So where exactly are we supposed to uh? get keys for all the drawers small keys there's small key locations and we only want the village we don't want the castle just yet we only want village here we go Resident Evil 4 remake key locations village let's see polygon because IGN sucks so we don't want to go to the poly we don't want to go to IGN just yet that's for desperation There's a total of eight keys to get in the Resident Evil 4 Remake Span in the first two regions. Village. Inside the shack underneath the hexagonal emblem. What's the hexagonal emblem? Damn, this map is they that they put is dark as fuck. You can't see anything on this. What exactly are we looking at? Okay, so we're in the valley. Okay, so that one's um let's see. I think we have to pass by there anyway. Okay, so I think this is where we got we got this one, right? I wonder if we can go over there. Because we have to go rescue Ashley in the church, but I wonder if we can just head on over to the town hall, cross all the way over here, and... Because we gotta go kill that dog anyway, so we have to go back. Maybe we can just go over here. I don't think they block off this path, right? Okay, so there's one in the valley. And it's, um... Yeah, they say it's over here, so there should be one here. I think we picked that one up already, but we might have to go back and check. So that's one. Okay. Village Chief's Manor Small Key. 
grab the key on top of a pile of papers in between the couch. So there's one in his home. We can go check that one out too. Fish farm we got. I know we got the fish farm. The altar, lake settlement. We got that one. Altar, small key. We got that one. Once you're inside the church. Oh, okay. So once you're inside the church. So if that's the only locked drawer, that might be the only one. I think I think we might have found the valley one. So let's see. Just make sure there's no other locked drawers. Let's see. This doesn't require a key. This is just treasure. Way shrine. I don't think these require locked drawers. So I think, yeah, that might be the only one. We could probably still go over and check just in case. Just in case we left one behind. But yeah. Okay, so yeah, there is one in the... There's a locked drawer there and there's one in the church. So that should be it. Um, yeah, once you're inside the church, head over to the pulpit and look to your right to grab another key in the southern corner, southern corner of that area. So yeah, before we rescue Ashley, we gotta go on, unlock the drawer and... Yeah, it's right beside it, so we gotta... Get the key first, step out, and then put it over here. Maybe that's the one we always forget. Maybe we always go rescue Ashley first and then ignore that drawer, and that's why we don't get it. So, all right, we're good. I think we're good because, um, yeah, we got the fish farm one, all right. Yeah, I think that's the only locked drawer. I don't see any others. So I know this you need Ashley to get this one, so I think that's I think that's it. We should be fine. We don't need a key for this one. Or this one. That's the way shrine key. Alright, so let's just go save and get this over with. Now that we sorted that out, um I'm still gonna save it. Still gonna save over here just in case. Just in case we actually need to um go over there before fighting that giant thing. So what do we need for El Gigante. Grenades don't work. I'll let you know right now. They do barely shit against them. So don't use grenades. Um, the machine gun comes in really handy. But the problem is... um, That machine gun sucks. I don't want to use it. And I'm saving the explosive bolts for... um For the packs of enemies later on. So I think... Might just have to rely on the shotgun and the rifle. I think we should have enough to make some rifle ammo. Yeah, we had a TMP but no ammo, so it's not gonna it's not actually gonna serve us anything. The Magnums don't have ammo either, so Yeah, let's just um Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Here he is in the quarry. At least we got the dog to help us out. Make sure everything's reloaded. We got this treasure here. Here we go. The explosive bolts do come in really handy against them, but like I said, I don't want to waste them here. I miss the guys trying to lure him out with like a rope they had attached to him. He just he just um, smashes them all. Instead, we got this doofus up there. I kind of missed the pack of the gun out. I was getting killed by, by a giant. Jesus Christ! That's a big boy. Way taller than Nemesis or Mr. X. I know, right, Leon? Right, Leon? Is that bulletproof, though? That's for sure. He can feel it. He felt it right there. Look at that. Really? 
Really? Let me go, you freak. It's like Rey Mysterio fighting like a giant Kevin Nash or something. One of those huge wrestlers. It's close. Oh, you were fine, Leon. You're fine. Alright, let's eat one of our eggs. Now this sucks, like why the white egg restores a small amount of health. This one restores some health. But in reality, there is no difference between white and brown eggs other than the color. They do exactly the same. One is not healthier than the other, no matter what people believe. So that's bullshit right there, the fact that one restores more health than the others. That's not the way it works in real life, guys. There is no actual difference between a brown egg and a white chicken egg. It just doesn't work like that. That's a myth. It's a myth. It's not real. It's like a crackhead Sasquatch. It's a myth. It's not real. You don't have to be afraid of crackhead Sasquatch. Look at that, he wasn't even close to hitting Leon with that. He just completely missed. That was not even close. Leon was all the way to his right. Or his left, whatever. Let's hit him with the rifle. Ooh, that got him. Oh yeah, look at that right there. That got him for sure. You got worms too? Yeah, he's got worms. He needs out that dewormer. Oh, we got him. Hell yeah. Here comes the dog. Hey, it's that dog. Leon sounded a bit more excited about the dog in the original, I will admit. He sounded a bit more excited there. I think we should only need one more because the rifle's so overpowered that it's gonna take him down. So I think as long as we can get one more on him, we're good. Oh yeah, we gotta get him to show the worm. Wanna help? Cause I could use it. He is trying to help Leon. He's just um, he's a dog. He's not exactly Einstein, you know. His his help is limited. He's doing the best he can. Oh yeah, look at that. That dog is not afraid of that giant, even though he's 20 times his size. Dog is like, nope, you killed my friends. I'm gonna get you somehow. Damn, it's, he smashed his own head in with the wall. Oh, damn, we had him right there. That was an opportunity we lost. There we go. I think he's dead. Oh yeah, he's dead. That rifle just... Shot the shit out of him. Look at that. That wasn't too bad. God damn. That was almost a pancake. Okay. Let's get to that church. Yeah, if he had fell on you, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich, Leon. <laughs> Leon. Alright, thank you for your help, brave doggo. You're the king. Thanks, bud. There you go, you triumphed over your mortal enemy. Now you can safely enjoy this, the peace here, once we wipe out all these freaks. There you go. That's a nice dog. Alright, let's get back to business. Wait, we got a uh, gunpowder. Where did he put it? Oh, here it is. Damn, we can't... Oh yeah, we can't combine them. All right, let's get that. Okay, we gotta get rid of something. Um, let's get rid, get rid of the egg. Oh yeah, we can uh, reload the rifle. 
Because it holds 12 shots. There you go. Got space for it now. Oh, more rifle ammo. Oh. What's this? We don't need a fucking kitchen knife. Here, let's, let's get rid of these piece of crap knives. We'll find more later on. We want the rifle ammo, not not the handgun, rifle ammo. Even though a handgun will come in handy. Alright, there we go. We got it. Is there anything back here from where it came from? Yeah, where, where they open up the door. Here we go. Damn, look at the stuff they were feeding him. Whole cows and everything. They were, um... Starving themselves just to feed him. Giving him all their food. Not that I would ever do so, but I wonder if it is possible to shoot that dog or not. If some more uh, brutal people have tried it or not. As his thanks for the, as his thanks for the help that he gave you. I wouldn't do it, but I wonder if it is possible. Because sometimes that games will block you from doing stuff like that. Like you obviously can't aim at Ada, even though she deserves it. You can't aim at a uh, Ashley, however much you want to. Not me, but some people might want to. So games do stop you from doing that sometimes. Oh, here's where they blow up the bridge. Yeah, so we... Okay, so we did get everything. Yeah, because one... So that's what we have to remember in the future. Uh, the treasure is actually... Even though we can see it from here, it's actually down there along with the other one. One's to the, li one's to the left one's to the right so that's they are both down there because I think that's that's the main one I kept missing over and over during my playthroughs that one the, the one that was to the right or to the left whatever of the of the other one because we shoot down one and the other requires a key and I think that's the one I always miss I would just fail to go back for it before we rescued Ashley and the whole thing got, the whole thing just got um ruined right there so hopefully this is the one time we actually... Oh, here comes some more fucking dogs. Shut up, dog. Is it dead? What the hell's in here? Oh, this is the locked drawer. Okay. No, the lock drawer is over here. At least there's only one dog. Could have been worse. Where is it? Um. Oh yeah, it's over here. So we gotta get here. There's also another treasure. I want to make sure I get that one too. It's not downstairs, is it? Oh, is it upstairs? I guess we can go up there. Maybe that one's the one we always forgot too. Wait, that's a flash grenade. That's not a treasure. Oh, what do we dump? We gotta dump something. Oh, we reload the shotgun. There you go. We got space for it. Where is this thing? Treasure. So this is a church. This is outside. So where exactly is that thing? Huh. The thing about this game though that I don't quite like are the fact how it, some of the treasures are very easy to miss like that one. What exactly is that thing? Yeah, what is it? Cause then... Okay, so is it hanging from the roof? Let's see, is it in here?
Maybe we can save in here just in case we don't get it. We can reload. Because I have no idea what the hell that thing is. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's in here. Like, is it somewhere? I don't know where, where it might be. Yeah, let's save it here. That way, we can always get it. Because it's, it's not in this room. This is the one that's locked. But if you go down there... Yeah, that just leads us over to the path. So that's not it. I guess maybe it's the, the top of the building, I guess, maybe. When we go meet up with Ashley. Anyway, let's go get that key. That's a fancy lock. Ashley Graham, I'm here, I'm here to help. Funny how he's supposed to be keeping her um, identity a secret, and then he just bursts out her whole name, just like that. Some machine gun ammo, really? You got too much stuff, man. Oh, there it is. No, wait, that, that's not the treasure. That's the dial. So, that's the dial. Where's the key? They say it's somewhere near one of the pews. That's what they call those things. Not benches, they're pews. They're one. They say it right over here. Let's see if they're over by it. There's a small key. There we go. So, uh, can we? Got some bolts. I mean, do we really need them? We can always make more. Do we really need them? Probably not, right? We, we don't need that. Let's go get that um treasure before we go rescue Ashley. I wonder if they'll give it to us as soon as we get the last treasure. Not this one, but as soon as we get the last one over there near the farmhouse. I wonder if they'll automatically give us the the, the trophy. Okay, so we got one. This has to be um, upstairs, right? There's That has to be upstairs. There's no other spot. There's no other place to, for it to be. So that's got to be upstairs, right? Alright, let's hurry up and put this in because we gotta go rescue Beagle. Can you imagine the Peanuts characters as Resident Evil characters? Who would Snoopy be? Would Snoopy be Leon or would it be Chris? I have to admit, I kind of don't like this um, puzzle as much as the um, other one. It's more or less the same, but they just made some slight changes to it, but I kind of prefer the original one. Even though that light show made no sense whatsoever how, why they even implemented that.
I always get confused with this puzzle too, like where is where it's supposed to go. I think I think the blue one's supposed to be there. Alright, is it the green one we gotta fix? There we go. Just random trial and error. No real strategy needed. Okay, let's see. We can see from here, I think, where the church goes, so... You know, let me look that one up, because I, I don't want to make the mistake of leaving it behind. So I want to see um, what that thing actually is. Resident Evil Remake, Church Treasure. I want to see what that thing actually is. What is the treasure next to the church in RE4? Yellow diamond 2. Small room? No, that's the locked drawer one. How, what's the other one? God damn, IGN, your, your, game, your game guide sucks. It doesn't specify the locations of the the um, treasures it just uh, tells you all oh, this is the name of where it is but yeah but we need is what we need is the location for the church that's what we need we don't we don't need to know exactly where it is yeah they give you the name they give you the name of what it is Ruby Alexandra etc they don't They don't tell you, they don't arrange them by location, so they just got them all listed like from 1 to 30, but they don't tell you exactly where. Here we go. Finally. So we got the yellow diamond. That was the locked drawer one. And we got another yellow diamond, the room where Ashley was being kept. Okay, so yeah, it is. It is where she is. Okay, so now that we know that we can go, we can go ahead. Just wanted to be sure that we were not leaving something important behind. All right, let's go. Let's go rescue Beagle. Ashley, you in there? How it? How messed up it would have been if she, when he went in there and she thought it. She, she thought he was one of the ganados, so when he went in there, she just killed him with a heavy blunt object. Just whacked him across the head with something heavy and just killed him right there. That would have been messed up. Sigma Gamma Phi. Fraternities. So this is, a, this is what they call a razor foam, right? Or something like that? I don't think I ever had, had one quite like this. And I only had the cheaper track phone. Not track phone, I virgin mobile phones. I don't think I ever had one like that one. Yeah, apparently don't you should never pledge fraternities or sororities. They're both pretty messed up. Apparently even sororities do just as met, messed up thing as, as the fraternities. The fraternities are known for, you know, assaulting people after getting them drunk. But apparently the sororities can be even more devious and manipulative than, manipulated than that. So, like, you really don't want to be pledging any of them unless it's a group that has been verified to be actually legit and upstanding. You know, like... You can have fun without being a total creep. But apparently a large wave of sorority groups across the country have problems with harassment and hazing and all that shit. So yeah, you really don't want to pledge those groups unless you're absolutely sure exactly what they are. You're going to talk to a lot of people beforehand because otherwise you can find yourself in some nasty situations. Ashley. Ashley Graham, are you in here? <laughs> no, she tried. Listen. She tried. Easy with that. My name's Leon. She could have used the the ladder. She could have knocked him out with the ladder. That went well.
Hey, it's dangerous outside. You need to listen to me. What is that? Over there? Oh, that's a lynch mob. Pursue them. After Leon's lily white, lily white ass. Deliver unto them. How is he telepathic now? Salvation. Got the new powers from the plaga. How the hell is he telepathic? He wasn't telepathic before. He could just control you only if you were like on close distance within range. Now he could just he could just call to you or control you from halfway across the country. Or the commute or the uh, county, really? Alright, chapter results. An hour, 21 minutes, 19 seconds. Our accuracy was mostly okay, 85% killed 28 enemies. Died zero times, so great. That's actually pretty damn good, because we, we did not die once, so. As always, let's save. Let's start chapter 5, let's go. We can't send anything to storage, so um, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make up a whole bunch of shit because we can't send anything to storage right now. God damn, we got to make fucking shotgun and rifle ammo, a whole bunch of shit. All right, let's start the next chapter. Let's go. Let's go, Beagle. I like the idea of her becoming an agent. I know it's kind of meant as a joke, but that would be a pretty cool Dude. twist for a character. If you did become inspired to, you know, Father, trust me. save the country and I need you to trust me by going into training. Exactly as I say. I'm gonna get you home safe. Yeah, always, always um, listen to the guy with the glasses. So if they hadn't managed to get out of there on, right. on the chopper, Let's get um, what would they have done? You know, like, because obviously they can't, um, obviously they can't um, remove the parasites normally. So I guess they would have had to then call in um, Lewis for help, basically. Where's the freaking, oh, there it is right there. There we go, we got the yellow diamond. Yeah, like if... If they had managed to make it to the chopper and then just gotten out of there and they went back to Washington, I guess they would have needed to contact Lewis to help him remove the parasites, right? They would both still be infected. So, um... I guess that might have been a bit rough. That could have worked out badly. But on the other hand, if they needed to contact Lewis, that means the U.S. Army could have gotten him out of there instead of Ada, so... Maybe he would have been alright. Maybe Hunnigan screwed up by not sending more than one chopper. Or like, not sending it because of the rain. What do we do? There's no way out. Yes. There's always a way out, Ashley. I really wish you could use mods here. Her, her styling hell outfit that someone came up with looks pretty damn good. Is that explosives? Handgun ammo, attachable mines. Um, what can we sacrifice? I, I guess we sacrifice these, right? Because we already got plenty of bolts. So I guess we just. We're gonna get more kitchen knives later on. I guess we just sacrifice that. Get out of here, Mr. Mouse. She really looks like Matt Murdock in those glasses. The blonde version of Matt Murdock. Not the Charlie Cox version, the regular version. You think Leon no hold, held on to that RPD it's uniform okay, you. in the actual story canon? You think he has it like kind of a memento of Raccoon City? He keeps it all knife, nice and spiffy and dry clean and everything in a closet. You think he still hey, has that uniform after all those years? I think he does. He seems like a sentimental guy. Like it might not be good memories, but it's still memories nonetheless. I think he has it in storage somewhere. How much do you think she weighs? Wow, I turned off the ray tracing, but it's actually looking really good, even without that. Ray tracing is turned off, right? Let me just check to be sure. Is it this 
display. Frame rate. Okay, so yeah, we do have turn off. Yeah, even without the ray tracing, there's actually it's pretty damn good. Good looking video game. Roost, I've secured Baby Eagle. Copy that. Is she okay? Affirmative. Well done, Condor One. I'll dispatch a chopper ASAP. I'm sending you the coordinates for the extraction point. Make your way there, and don't let anything happen to Baby Eagle. Copy that. Hurry. The weather is getting worse. Roost out. That's right, we secured Beagle. Got to protect her. It's dangerous. Yeah. Stay close. Okay. If Leon did get killed, she'd pretty much have, pretty much have no choice but to take, it, take his weapons and go out on her own, right? Because like she doesn't even know Lewis is there, so yeah. have no choice. Um, you pretty much have to um. You pretty much have to um go out on your own at that point and just hope that you can make it. Because what else are you gonna do? Stay there, wait for more help that might never arrive. You pretty much have to go after them. So this part is tricky, that's why I saved here, um, this part is tricky, but there are a couple ways to make it easier if you hide around this corner here. Hide around the boulder here. That's ready a shotgun just in case this goes to shit. Are they leaving? Really? You think if we use the sniper rifle they'll hear it? <coughs> if you used to kill this guy over here, you think they'll hear it? I think it's too dangerous. Try to sneak by it with as minimal damage as possible, so... They're coming! Get behind me! Oh god! What is wrong with these people? Never mind, uh, come on. Let me just run past the Ashley. Don't worry about him. Just run and shoot. Damn, that one even ha didn't even have a worm in him. He just imploded. Well, that was easy. Um, I guess that hiding trick only works when he's uh, on his own, not with her. You know, the first time when it's daylight and it's not raining. You'd figured the 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 rain sound would mask the, the sound of the rifle, but apparently not. Apparently, it does not work that way. Okay, we gotta we gotta sell some of this crap. God damn, we got too much stuff in here. What can we make? Um, well, first we can reload this rifle. That's what we can do. Yeah, you know what? We're going to make some shotgun shells because we desperately need shotgun shells. Before we do, do we have... um? Before we do that, I've do we have the... Um, items in stock. <laughs> Come the charm equipped? Let's see. Got the chicken. Handgun. Yeah, you know, let's get rid of that. Is there is there one for shotgun? Here we go, Don Est Oh no, we got him equipped already, Don Esteban. Knife repairs on. You know what? I think we should get rid of the 
handgun. Because we get plenty of handgun ammo, so let's just remove that. We're gonna put what we should have put all along, which is on knife repairs. We don't need resources just yet, so we're gonna do that. And we got the red herb. Um, oh, that's why we keep getting so many red herbs. Um, should we change it for money or resources? I think I'm gonna change it for resources, right? Because we got plenty of health. There you go. That way we can just keep keep our ammo reserve stocked. So let's just make some shells. Let's go. Got eight. Um, how much gunpowder we have? Um, I don't know if I should make a heavy grenade or not. I think we find one later on. Got flash grenades. We don't need that. Do we need rifle ammo or not? I don't think so. I think we have enough for now. We're not going to be taking too many sniper rifle shots. Oh, I find out apparently there's some... Um, there is a case you can buy that gives you mad gunpowder. I think that might be something to buy. I'm not going to do it yet because I want to see how far we get. But if we, if we get to a point in the game where we're really lacking on gunpowder, I think I might have to buy that case. Because it could come in very, very handy at that point. Um, it could come in very handy at that point. Welcome. I got something new. I think it's only like one ninety nine or something. So. Crossing your T's, dotting your eyes. This pair of body That's... armor is expensive as hell. Sell that. I can certainly do something with this. There's some things... Okay, that's for the island. I thought that was the village map for a moment. I was about to say, why is he showing this again? No, that's for the island. We don't even need that yet. Chalice of Atonement? I don't know. Should we get that? Well then, what can I do? Pleasant travel. We gotta go hunt down the dog. Um, trying to see what else we have. Um, yeah, we got plenty of health. We don't need any more red herbs for now. No wonder we were getting so many red herbs. We had the we had the case still attached. So let's see. We gotta. I wish we could sell this golden knife now, but we gotta use it for Salazar just in case we can't afford to buy a rocket launcher. Cause we might need a rocket launcher for something else. So we gotta save it just in case. I think there's one more. I believe there's one more near the end in his throne room, so we should get another one. That restores almost all your health, I think, too. See, we have tons of resources. We're limited only by the gunpowder that we have. That's what we need more of. And that gun, that shotgun can carry a lot of ammo too. Should we, should we do it or not? Now nah, let's see if we can find some more. We'll find some more. What do we have that we can sling? This is nine thousand, but the problem is that we don't have enough barrels. I want to save these for the crowns. We don't have that. And there's no blue there's no blue um herb combinations. I mean blue gems, so we can't let's see, maybe we could I guess we could sell the lamp, right? I guess we can sell the lamp. Let's see. For the same color for is the best or one of each. Um I think we can do one of each. Because let's see, one of each is what? Like, let's see. That's 14. Okay. Now, if we do red, red. Oh, that's 21. Now, what if we do, um, we're not going to use, but I just want to see what it is. Ooh, 37. Let's go with blue. Let's see the... Blue ones. Let's see what they do. 
25, so... What was the red? Let's see, what was red? Red was 21. I guess we can do the blue, right? Let's see. Yeah, because I think one of each was for only 14, so... I think, yeah, we can sell that for sure. Just to get it out of the, our inventory. Welcome. Let's just sell them that. I've got something new for you, mate. Thank you. There you go. Now we're gonna Come gather some more gems. Anytime. We'll sell the other ones next time. Defeat the strong threat. That's that stupid ass dog. The flash grenades do not actually work on him, so you gotta. Uh, gun rhymes with fun. You gotta take him down the old-fashioned way. Um, I wonder how well a grenade was would, would work, cause we got a ton of them. Look at that, we got tons of grenades here. That might be a good place for the bolt drawer, but I think we can. Um, I think we can kind of come back later on for it. Sorry, we need to keep moving. Got it. How are you tired already? You've done nothing but sit in that room all day. For like a week. How are you tired? Not used to running? But even so, like, you haven't done anything. Okay, we need, um... Need a, uh, one from here. Need one from here. Oh, we actually do have to go over to the village chief's manor, so... Before we even go do that, we gotta go over there. Uh, was right about the weather. So there's um ladder that you can take. It'll emerge somewhere on here. Let's go over here. So there is a pig guy in one of these houses, but I, didn't, I never see him because I never go back in them. But there is one around, just letting you know, so. We made it over here. We gotta go over to where the chief is. Let's see if we can follow this uh, path over here. Are you with me, baby eagle? Beagle? Come on, Beagle, we gotta go dog hunting. I just wanna go home. Well, you're a long way from home at this point, Ashley. A long way from home, so... You gotta wait like another 36 hours. Let's go get the treasure in there. She's a lot more useful here than she is in the original. I think the, the original there was only a couple times she helped you out, right? She was mainly just an annoyance because of her voice. Like the character itself is not that bad, but the voice was just too annoying. They played it way too grating. It just got on your nerves. But here she's alright.
I like her here. She's a better person than Ada. Ada sucks. Like, she already sucked, and now she just sucks with a bad voice. You know? She got worse. She got way worse. Antique camera. We can sell that. I still think these people are related to Elise. I guess that's his grandfather. Alright, we got the treasure. Now we gotta go pursue the dog. I wonder if he kills uh, some of the enemies. Like, if they're over there, like, does the dog actually kill them too? Oh, well, I thought you had to wait until she drop down you have to catch her so we got everything from the village chief's manor I forgot what the direction is to give her orders I think it's the right stick right oh they're gonna right over there can we shoot him through the fence let's see can we, can we shoot him through the fence Will it work? Let's see. We can waste one bullet, right? Nope. The fence blocked it. Ugh. Oh, the rain stopped for a moment. Let's get rid of this bitch right now. Damn, she ran around the house. Alright, let's get rid of this one. Oh, come on. She's gonna get back up again, really? Damn. Shit. I knew it. Holy. Where did the other one go? She behind the house? Really? What is she doing in there? Why wouldn't she come out? Oh, she's waiting for them. Come on over here. All right. Damn. Took her head and she burned. Is there a guy over here? Oh, there's that fucking pig man. Shit. Hi there. Fuck the oh, there's the fucking dog. Now would be a good time for a grenade, probably. Give me a warning. Fuck. Here's your warning, open, open up the damn fence. Get out of here. Get out of here, mutt. Oh, and there comes Pigman too. <clears throat> hey Pigman, you want you want some of these, Pigman? Oh look at him backing off like a coward. Motherfucker. Look at that. Hi there. Alright, it's shooting gallery, because um, the dog won't move and this guy just stand there like idiots, so. Where's the dog? I know it's to the right. I can hear him. Oh yeah, look at him. He's right through the fence. 
Can we shoot him through there? You think you think a bullet will penetrate there? Nope. Oh, there's Pigman too. Wonder if he can kill Pigman from here. Throw a grenade over there. Hi there. Right there. Let's see. Here we go. Right there, gonna throw him right next to him. See what happens. Damn. That's an Olympic level throw from Leon. Pepper him with shotgun bullets. You got, I mean, handgun bullets. You got a ton of them. Look at that. Take that, pig man, you pig motherfucker. Next. Look at that brave guy right there, thinking he was gonna storm us. You want some of this, piggy? You want it? Oh, he's dead. He's finished. There we go. We successfully cheese that section. The dog is still on the loose, but there is right over there. Hi there. Ooh. Where is he? Hi there. Leon sounds like freaking um. Obi Wan. Hello there. Hi there. Damn, he just keeps repeating the same thing over and over again. Let's use a flash grenade. I'm gonna blind him. It's starting to get a bit tiring. You know what? We're gonna blind him. There you go. Blind that thing. Just don't load on him. There you go. He's done. It's over. He's dusted. Let's kill this fool too. Oh, there's no fire so we can't kill the cow. We know that cow is a menace. He's a, he's a double agent working for the villagers. The cow is a menace. That's no cow. That That's a... That's a Plaga Parasite cow. I think we wiped them out. So where's the uh, treasure? Over here. Come on, Ashley. Help me out. That is not the right building. It's this one. Over here. Come on, Beagle. Okay. Do your thing. I need you to open it from the other side. What's taking her so long? Just open the door. What is she doing? Just open the door. Okay. Thanks. Look at that, this giant ass chest for that tiny little bangle. Come on. Talk about extra. That's, come on, you don't need that huge box to store that thing. Really? Okay, all the treasures from this part of the game are complete. So, we have that here. These are all complete. I think we only need these. The farm. Oh yeah, we got 34 or 39. So let's see where the other ones are. 36, 37, 38, 39, and 35. We forgot 35, but here they are. They're all there, so... Let's head over to the farm. I think that's going to be it for the night. <laughs> Screw you, man. Okay, so we do have to go through the house. I was wondering how we get to that section. 
always forget you do have to go to the house. So I think that's the first time I actually ever killed a ping man. Usually I just ignore him. But it was much more convenient to just kill him now. Yeah, usually I just ignore he's even there. I never seen him, I think, until I saw him on the video. Why didn't we break that box the first time? I could have sworn I had already broken that box. Yeah, we are running low on rifle bullets, so I thought it best to make some. Uh. Seriously, this can't be happening. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna deal with these guys right now. We're gonna call it a night. Um, we're in an hour twenty-seven minutes. Um, I think we should be good because the thing is, um, the next part is the. This stupid ass thing with the uh, farm. I hate that battle. Oh, you know what? Maybe we should kill the guys and then just um, kill everyone here, get all the treasures, and then um, then um, save. That way we come back. We don't have to get past all of these. We're, they're already dead. Like that guy here. Shit. Got too late. Damn. I'm starting to see what someone said way earlier last year about all the enemies having parasites in um professional mode. Yeah, in this difficulty they all have parasites apparently. Or like 80% of them. Oh, we got Pigman, Pigman number two. Here you go, Piggy. Enjoy. You're serious. Come on, Ashley, run for it. Really? Must have slipped. Nice one, Leon. We sure showed him. We showed him who's boss. Oh. <laughs> Beware that. Damn, look at that cow goring that guy. Let the cow handle him. Really? You fucking cow. Thanks. Sorry, cow. We had to put you... You did it by... To yourself. 
We were gonna we weren't gonna let you kill baby eagle. Freaking freaking traitor. We wipe out those guys and that's the thanks we get. We help you out and you try to kill everyone in your in your path, including us, you miserable cow. Shit. Look at that, why can't he be more like this pig? He's just napping here. He does not give a fuck. That pig is well behaved, the cow not so much. Eh, they were gonna eat him anyway, but still. Let's get the last way shrine. Got the antique pipe. Is there anything else left here that we should check out? Um, I don't think so. I think Leon got everything. So yeah, now would be a pretty good time to do the save because um, that battle is probably going to take like half an hour in there and I don't want to do it just now. So, Did the merchant set up shop here or not? Oh, he did. Did he? Oh yeah, there he is. There he is right there. Excellent. We can save right here. We don't have to go back to the other one. Does he have anything new? A job well done deserves payment in kind. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. As always, let's uh, tune this up. Easy work. Sell those. A deal well struck. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's anything we need, except to sell this. Thank you. Came into some other bits and might want to take care of any leftover errands before going this. Yeah, that's your warning that you can't get any of the stuff from this area, from all this, these places right here. Once you go past that point, there's the point of no return. So he's just letting you know. But we already know that, so we're gonna save. To live the rest of your life wondering what if am I right? Alright, so that is um Resident Evil 4 remake profession mode for now. Next up is the um fight in the farmhouse, which is everybody's favorite. I'm just kidding, that's actually the one everybody hates. I haven't met a single person who doesn't despise that battle. It's it's made two times even worse than it was in the original. It was already bad. They made it worse here, so I'm curious to see how that how that's gonna play out. I'm sure it's gonna be a whole bunch of bullshit. Um, we have one one grenade left. We probably shouldn't have used. Oh, we got two. We probably shouldn't have used those against the dogs, but those should be enough. We might have to dig out the old explosive bolt. Um, yeah, I think we might have to sort these eggs out and just dig out the old explosive bolt. Um, gun. Just to put some distance, because they're, they're going to send the pig guy, they're going to send ones with parasites, they're going to send a whole bunch of them. So I think we might have to need, we might have to dig out that gun and use some of the explosive bolts we made. Just to put some distance between them and us. Because that's going to be rough, so we're going to put that off for a couple days. I don't feel like doing that battle right now, but yeah, I'm sure that's going to take like 20 or 30 minutes easily when we attempt it next time, because there's... They hit hard, there's a ton of them, and you can't back away from them with suitable space. It's very difficult to put space between them and you unless you use the explosives. And you gotta make sure you don't kill Lewis either. I don't know if he can die per se, but I know he warns you not to shoot him. So I think you gotta be careful you don't blow him up with the explosive bolts. Or that you don't blow yourself up too. So we will come back and do that some other time. I was thinking of... um. I was thinking of doing a Resident Evil 3 remake stream once I clear enough fit space on my hard drive to because it, it would only be like two videos or three since that's a very short game so it wouldn't need a lot of um, time and effort put into it but it would still be cool to do. I was thinking of my tackle nightmare mode again which I know is a very bad idea because I hated that mode the first time but you know um, I've grown used to it. I'm thinking maybe it will be better this time now that my reflexes have actually been honed a bit as far as the dodging. Also they put up two new Resident Evil 2 challenges but I gotta think about them for a while because um, 
one of them is like the um limited items challenge that's not the name of it but apparently it's um they say something like item avoid or something like that where you can only pick up a hundred items so i've got to give that some thought as to whether i want to do it or not i think i might attempt it anyway but there's one of those runs where yeah you probably don't want to do it on hardcore because you don't want to pick up a lot of items you know so I might need to think about that for a while and how to figure that out and then you also got the pacifist run for hunk and tofu which is um you can only kill three enemies that's it no more no less so I gotta figure out how to do that I think I think hunk might be the best option for that because um flan has the spark shot which definitely stuns enemies you don't need to kill them but the problem with that is that um the problem with that is that um she might find it very difficult to get past all the enemies at the end you know if you can't kill them um, if you can only kill three how are you gonna get past them whereas hunk can just use the he can just use the flashbang to blind the the enemies on uh, near the end I don't know I'll give it a shot but um, I think maybe we should try doing tofu or hunk first because if we can't get that one there's, just, there's no point in even putting in the time to do the other run you know I don't want to spend three hours doing the other run for Leona Claire we get past that one we we get the less than 100 items and then after that we can't do the tofu or hunk run to complete the the weekly challenge so I think we might want to give that a try first and then if we don't succeed there we'll know we just have to forget it we can just wait for some other challenge some other week but yeah that's the menu um I'll probably go back to playing Alan Wake 2 tomorrow after I give that Resident Evil 2 thing a try I'll give it a good solid try if we can't do it oh well it's no big deal but I'll give it a try and after that I think we might go back to Alan Wake 2 or um, Robocop because I keep putting off that game and it's never going to get done if I keep putting it off so I might do that Robocop or what else can we play I guess we can start Met Metal Gear but I don't really like having too many games on the channel because like I said like some other people like some other streamers have said too many videos means you we just get a bunch of different people who each want to watch only one thing so it's best to have like certain games running at the same time and so far we mainly have Resident Evil and Alan Wake those are our two main ones right now so I don't know if I want to start Metal Gear until I finish Robocop or one of those even though I really want to play it I just don't know if it would be the right time to start it but yeah this has been I would I wouldn't say fun, but it's not really as frustrating as I expected it to be. Um, I'm having a much more laid back time doing this than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a lot of um, frustration and obstacles and stuff. And no, I guess because we're so damn overpowered, uh, it's kind of making a joke out of the professional difficulty. But I'm sure that will increase later once we get to the castle. Once we get to the castle and the Garador is unsure, it's all going to turn into a shit show. And I'm going to regret um ever playing this mode in the first place but um that's it for now so thank you for watching and i will see you again next time on resident evil 2 remake with that tofu and hunk challenge so see you later